The subject today is Starbucks, that giant or one of the giants of the business world, at least a giant of the coffee business world. And Starbucks, you almost think they're a monopoly, right? I mean, I want to impugn Starbucks, but it seems like every four out of every five coffee shops you ever see around there are Starbucks, okay? Well, I'm going to talk about them today. Welcome again to my channel. I'm Edgar Montoya. This is the Language Cafe. I started, uh, I've already done one episode. My intention is to do a three-part series on uh, some businesses and how they got their names and logos. My original idea was to do three episodes, two businesses per episode, but I think I want to do a few more businesses. And so, but I'm going to, so there's going to be more episodes, but there's, I'm going to limit them to one, one business per episode. So here goes today. The, the business today is Starbucks. So let's go there. Go here on, excuse me. Go there on to the Zoom. Okay, the first one we talk about is talking about, about Starbucks. In case you don't know, here's the original Starbucks. It was made, that was opened in 1971 in Seattle. That's it. I don't know if you know how many of you know, probably, probably, well, pretty well known fact, the original Starbucks, they didn't even, you couldn't buy a cup of coffee there. You couldn't buy coffee to drink. You just bought beans, right? And they were known for, you could buy tea there, you could buy spices, but you didn't drink there. You just bought coffee to go. You made it at home, make it at your place. Okay, so that's the original Starbucks. And I want to talk a little bit about, pardon me, need the glasses here. I'm going to talk about so the um, you you wondered so the subject is name and logos name and logos so the logo you all know for Starbucks is that famous siren or siren the better known word for siren is mermaid so we're going to talk how did they have their beginning well first of all okay so here's here it is here's the original one the first one okay back in 1971 when it opened you can see quite a difference from the from the siren of today the the famous green and white. Uh, model that you see today this was back then the color was uh well on the when you read about it it'll tell you it was brown but it doesn't look brown here it's black they were brown tones and you could tell the mermaid back then was uh bare breasted uh, nothing covering up and in original i don't have the photo here but in one of the very original ones it's starbucks coffee tea and spices underneath okay but here it's a starbucks coffee and tea Okay, so okay, so what happened then after within between 1971 and 1982, when you got to this one, uh, in comes a man called Howard Schultz. He was not today, he's known as the owner of Starbucks, but he was not one of the original owners. Okay, he was hired by Starbucks way back when, first as a marketing director. On a vacation, he went to Milan, in Italy, and noticed and was a great admirer of how they made their coffees slowly and very professionally. A very practically a work of art in Italy. He came back with that idea for his bosses at Starbucks and they didn't really buy into it. So he went and bought, he did start his own his own coffee shop, his own business called Il Giornale, which is more of that Italian style. Eventually he did buy Starbucks for some, 3.8 million, which was probably a steal. The day would be a lot more expensive than that to be sure. You can be certain of that. So then by 1982, and then it was his, what happened? He merged the colors of his, in his business, Il Giornale, where it was an original, it was a green. So he merged the business together, Il Giornale with Starbucks. And so then you had this here, still in the center circle, the mermaid in black and white. And outside, of course, it says Starbucks coffee with the two stars. Okay, by now, the mermaid's breasts are covered a little bit, a long hair. She's looking a little bit different in the face. Okay, I think maybe they wanted to pretty her up a little bit. Okay. Then you go to 1992. What they do in the center circle, she is expanded because she's the mermaid is enlarged. Okay, you see a little bit less of her. She has a charming face, kind of a bemused smile. Still, here's that Starbucks coffee. But what happened by 2011? Starbucks was so well known that by then you don't even need a word. You didn't need any words, Starbucks coffee. What are we? You saw this picture. You saw this mermaid in green and white in this circle. 
a little bit of a modified look with that, with that famous crown with the star. And you know, there's no need for any words around here. It's just the mermaid, the siren. Everybody knows from a distance. See that famous green and white little mermaid? Starbucks. Okay. So then talking a little bit about, so that was the change, basic change through the years in the Starbucks mermaid. I'm going to explain a little while. Why mermaid? Why siren? Okay, for Starbucks. Uh, where did she come from? But anyways, first I want to go to um, talking about the character your people want to know. Okay, with the name, Starbucks. Where did the name Starbucks come from? Okay, it actually came comes from the novel Moby Dick. Now, the owners back in 1971, they were trying to think of names, and somebody told them that names with ST seem appealing. Let's start with ST. So, okay, let's do that. So they come up with a list of words that start with ST, and one of them thought of a character from the novel Moby Dick called Starbuck. Okay, he was first mate. And here's a picture of him right here from a movie. Okay, first mate. I don't know how, how many of you, you probably many of you have read the famous novel. I read it. I enjoyed it. Um, Captain, uh, this is from, from a movie that uh, where Gregory Peck, way back in, I think, in the late 40s, early 50s, Gregory Peck played Captain Ahab. This was Starbuck, either in the movie or in a mini in a series that came out later. I'm not sure. But the funny thing is that Starbuck in the novel, he wasn't, he was not a coffee drinker. He's never mentioned as drinking coffee, not known as a coffee lover. But then, okay, why the connection then? Why did they think it will work this connection with a, a naval or sea story? Okay, a, a story of a ship out at sea and coffee. So where does that idea come from? Well, it's basic what it is. It's that they made the connection of seafaring from the old days, trading, going out and buying coffee and spices and tea, among other things, okay? And it's just that, that, uh, so that attraction, that, uh, that, uh, that idea of uh, adventurous going out and discovering new things and coffees from around the world, okay? So this guy right here, Starbuck, Starbuck in the singular, not plural, becomes famous. We make him famous, more famous than he was. Pretty good novel. If, if anybody who's never read it, I like literature. I teach English, by the way. I recommend you read Moby Dick. Okay, no talk about coffee in there, though, that I remember. Anyways, okay, so you might ask, too, how about the, well, how about the mermaid? Now, I was going to answer. How about the mermaid? What about the sirens? Where they come from? Uh, why mermaid? Okay. Only the mermaid, because it's the idea of the allure. Let me see from the notes I had. It's that that idea of the allure of caffeine. You think of the uh, in 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 storytelling and legend that the the Greek sirens they would draw men to their deaths with their beautiful song, mesmerizing song, and there was an allure, and they just would draw them, draw them, draw them until it would until they would come in and they would die, okay? So coffee has a kind of, that caffeine, right? Like a siren in itself, that caffeine, that allure that draws people in and draws and draws us. So, and then Starbucks sure has, definitely has that allure of uh, whether you like Starbucks or not, especially. Uh, I like certain coffees that they have there. I don't always think that's the best for me, but it definitely has this, that allure Especially when you see the green mermaid in green and white, something attractive about it, something appealing, and you go, oh, oh, Starbucks, let's go. Let's go have a cup. So that you get drawn in. Okay. It's it's that fame. That's why they have that's why they have the famous mermaid. Uh, the mermaid there. The siren. Drawing e drawing you in and drawing you in. See, it's psychological, psychiatric. The siren draws you in to that, to that cup of coffee. Okay, so Starbuck, the name came from a character, a novel, Moby Dick. The mermaid comes from, of course, from the sea, from mermaids, the allure drawing you in to have that cup of coffee. And the mermaid through the years, I told you, was modified. 
Okay. So that's basically the story of Starbucks in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. I'm open for ideas on other businesses to, to give a summary about, about how they got their names, how they got their logos, maybe how they got their colors. Okay, yeah, you know, Starbucks did go from a brown or black to completely green and white. And I'm, I'm open to ideas. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you would uh, tune in to my, to my channel. I'll leave some likes, leave some comments. What do you think? Your opinion on Starbucks? What's your favorite coffee? You could come at, you could, we could discuss it at any angle you like. I love talking about coffee too. Okay. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. And I hope that you'll uh, tune in for my next videos. Thanks so much. And bye-bye. Uh,